what's up everybody welcome back to another video from exotic astrology and today we will discuss on the source of inspiration fire of inspirations okay so today we will discuss something very striking which i had seen seven years back okay exact seven years back <laughs> exactly i mean roughly near about seven years but in the same month i guess so what did i see when i saw this i was taken aback i never expected that i will see something like this yes once when i was in my engineering college in south india srm university i was studying software engineering then in the year 2010 it is a four-year program but when i went there in my first year there was a place where there was a session okay a lecture which was given by a very qualified professional from indian institutes of technology kharagpur his name was ankur varshni he was the gold medalist of computer science okay he came there to give a session on the power of habits okay which was very powerful <laughs> so in the session the power of habits when i went there i will not talk about that session but when i went to that session below in the ground floor there was some banners there was some posters okay in that I saw something and it struck me very hard <laughs> and it's still hitting me. Well, what was written there? It was written in the poster that have you heard of this statement that anyways, let me tell it without going round and round. It was written in the poster that God wants you okay so then i went and asked to one of my seniors that what is the meaning of this statement then he said that god is known as abhigya swarat in the srimad bhagavatam that he is supremely independent swarat is independent he doesn't need anybody okay but although he doesn't need you he still wants you <laughs> See, that's very divine, yes. Anybody can want you if they need you, right? <laughs> but the real test of how much a person wants you comes out when he doesn't need you, right? <laughs> if you want to know how a person is, go and check how he behaves with those who he doesn't need. That will tell you how the person is okay there you go very big secret i reveal <laughs> just go and see those people who cannot do anything for him how does he or she behaves with that person okay <laughs> that will tell you how the person is okay because it is very easy to treat somebody properly from whom you have to get something right <laughs> it can be anything physical emotional monetary whatever but ultimately it is something that you want from the person you need okay so then it is very easy to treat everybody well but then when you do not need the person how do you treat him that will tell the story right that is why people tell me that suddenly this person they message like this that I, I don't have time, I don't have this, I don't have that. How in the world suddenly the person has no time for you? <laughs> it is not the way you are thinking that the person doesn't have time. The person never had time for you or the person always has time for you. But only thing is... His need is not fulfilled by you anymore. Maybe by somebody or by something else. Okay. So that means the person 
when he does not need you anymore he will not treat you properly okay <laughs> so that is what i want to say when i read this statement i was taken aback god wants you and then my senior said but he doesn't need you <laughs> so imagine how divine god is yes he doesn't need you he doesn't need you what can you do for god <laughs> i get people telling me sometimes oh this person is asking me to give a donation to a temple my dear sir if you ever think that you are doing a favor to god by donating him money then i would just say get well soon <laughs> i'm sorry to say this sir you are not doing a favor to god you are doing a favor to yourself when you are giving to god you are only doing a favor to yourself you are not doing a favor to him remember this and this should motivate you to give more okay never think that i am doing something for god which will benefit him how can you benefit god <laughs> of course you can do things which he loves he will be happier then and how will you know how he is happier well for that you have to read the scriptures you have to stay with enlightened personalities who will give you the knowledge of what makes god happy for example suppose you want to know let me give the example of who by anybody the indian prime minister narendra damodar das modi okay suppose you want to make him happy how will you do it will you speculate or maybe he likes paneer maybe he likes chicken or maybe he likes juice or maybe he likes rice maybe he likes dal roti sabji or maybe he likes pasta <laughs> or maybe he likes tofu what will you do will you speculate no never speculate just go and ask him or people who are close to him people who know him okay for example his mother she is still alive okay so you can go and ask his mother what does your son like to eat then she will tell you he likes this he likes that he hates this he hates that okay so problem is solved instead of doing a research on 10 years of what narendra modi did by seeing statistics where he ate what and then you assume oh, maybe he likes this maybe he likes that no you don't need to do that just go and ask people who are close to him so similarly what makes god happy how will you know that if you go and read the scriptures and stay with personalities who are closely connected to the words and teachings of the scriptures then you will know what god likes okay so then he will love you more okay and then he will want you more yes as i said god wants you but he doesn't need you okay and probably god is the only person who always wants you irrespective of whatever you do because there is nothing in this world that you can do that will stop god from loving you even the bible says that okay that god loves you abundantly unlimitedly jesus loves you that is the famous saying of the christian missionary is right jesus loves you <laughs> okay so i was taken aback when i heard this because the person who can never need us he wants us it's good right it's wonderful it's great to know that somebody wants us at least it makes us feel wanted right otherwise people call me and say this person doesn't want me anymore i have lost my importance in his life in her life my life is over <laughs> but that will never happen if you are connected to the divine source because he will always be wanted <laughs> and if you do things which he loves then you might become the most wanted person <laughs> okay so that is it from my side on the source of inspirations god wants you but he doesn't need you okay so if you have any questions queries and comments then what are you waiting for please post it in the comment section and if you have not yet subscribed then 
please subscribe to my channel and like this video and share it tell everybody who feels that they are not wanted tell them that there is one person krishna says in the gita that suridam sarva bhutana i am the most well wishing friend of all living entities and krishna also says that riddeshe arjuna tishthati ishvar sarva bhutana riddeshe arjuna tishthati means i am seated in the heart in the heart of every living being in the heart of every living entity okay just look to him and he will be there <laughs> okay so until next time bye bye see you